Ya. Okay, so right now I'm using pseudocode or flowchart which inputs a hundred numbers, finds the average of the input numbers. That puts the average. So first you do declare. Okay. Number. Good. Counter. Counter. Okay. Average. And colon integer. Okay. Any other variables you need to declare? Uh, see. No. Yeah, it says output the average. So before average, but yeah, we... after average. Oh uh, no, before average. average. Before average, what we need to have? Total. Counter. Total, total. Oh, total, okay. Yeah. Total, then integer. Okay. Can you do and on screen? We do can you, will you do, are uh, you doing paper or uh, can you do on screen? I'm doing on paper. Okay, good. So you can send. Yeah. Okay, and then... Then after that, you then you do next line. You'd have a uh, total equals zero, okay. average equals zero. Average does not need to equal. Okay, average basically calculated on uh, total. Okay. Then you do four counter. Counter equals one to one hundred. Then you do read number or input number. And then you do total equals total. Plus number next counter and then do you write end for loop or do you just leave it? Yeah, and then you go to the next one. You have to input in the loop. Okay, so do I write end for loop? Yeah, input no input number. You have to write input number after the. Loop. I have written no. I have no. So I have total equals zero. Okay. Four counter equals one to a hundred. Okay. Read good. number. Read number. Total okay. equals total. Total equals total plus number. Good. Very good. Next counter. Good. Next counter. Then I'm I'm asking if I should add. If you have to end for loop. Average. Average. No. And for loop. Okay. Good. And and for you have to write and for and for and then you then you do uh then you do average uh average equals, you have to write, yeah average equal to total divided by a hundred good and then you do. Uh, total divided by 100, average, total divided by 100, and then you do, uh, yeah, average equals total divided by 100, then print average. average. Good. You have made right program. Just, uh, okay. I make it, okay, on screen so you can compare your program, okay? First of all, yeah, you have to declare. Okay, number for input and total for result. Okay, yeah, All you can write integer. Okay. Integer. Okay, then you can declare 
then you can declare uh, average. Yeah. Okay. Colon. Real. You can give real. So. Okay. Total must be equal to zero. Okay. For we have to find total. We have to declare counter. Oh, number. Okay. Here you can write the count. Okay. Count. Yeah. Then you will write for loop statement for counter equal yeah. one to hundred. Okay. One to yeah. hundred. A hundred. Okay. okay. Then you have to write input command or read command. Okay. Input number. Okay. And then you have to write the total total equal to total plus number. up till now it is right okay yeah so here you can write uh, next counter you have written this one yeah okay remaining program writing here okay next counter then loop will end then you will write average formula average equal to total divided by 100 okay Am I right? Yes. Here yeah. you can write print command or output command, whichever you think right. Here you can print average. This is the basically program you have to make. You got it? Yeah. So I did everything there apart from her average as declare average as real. I declared average as integer. Okay. Actually, average can come in uh, decimal form. So that is why it should be real. Okay, yeah. The answer can come like this uh, 10.5, okay? This yeah. will not be supported by integer, okay? Integer picks only this yeah. part, okay? Yeah. Okay. So, moving to the next slide. Yeah. Okay. This is the basically uh, possible answer, okay? You have done. Initialize total, correct loop, okay? Correct input and output, finding sum of number, and calculate that. So, here marks are given about Okay. Now, can you do this one? Okay. A school has fifteen hundred students. It is conducting a survey on their music preferences. Each student uses a computer and inputs their name and chooses one of the five options: rock, soul, pop, and jazz. Classical. Write write an uh, algorithm using pseudo code or flow drop which inputs the choices of all students values one to five, outputs all the names of the students who chose classical music, outputs percentages who chose each option. So we'd have let's see, we have counter, we need counter for that then. We'd have declare counter. Yeah, so we need a counter. We have fifteen hundred students, so we need and we need names of students we chose So uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, we need we we'll need the then we also need average one to average five. Can you do? Could I help you? Yes, please. You need to help. Okay. I don't, take, take. Uh, because I don't know how to. Because for one of the the last for the last bit, it says outputs all the names of the students who chose classical music. But I don't know how to like uh, okay. do that. I think I have to do that. Basically, first you have to declare how many. There are five totals are coming. Okay. Rock total, soul yeah. total, pop total, jazz total, and classical total. Okay. Yeah. So each five variable must be declared. With integer, yeah. or you can say real. You can also, and one more uh, variable you need to have like choice, okay. option. You can write also option, okay, uh, for inputting yeah. the value, for inputting the value, and also you need to have people name, okay, or student name. It says uh, output all the names of the student who who choose classical. Okay. It means you need to have a student name, okay. and that will be yeah. that will be. 
okay yeah this very much okay you can write a uh, student name you can write like this one student name is it can be string yeah. or it can be string okay. yeah okay And so what, so what, so then you have to declare counter okay counter for loop and then then you have to declare so you have to declare for the five input values so you have to declare like so uh, there's five no, options no no you need you don't need to input only one value you need to have one uh, one variable for input like you can use option okay for input so, option option or choice so, like option or option or choice choice yeah and then okay and five these variable then, for output purpose okay five these variable for output purpose one could be counter for loop okay and yeah. five this one six this one seven this one and eight eight variable need to be declared okay yeah yeah okay Can you do this? Hello? Okay. Can you do this, or should I move? Uh, I'm going to I'm going to try and do it. So then, so we'd first start with the clear counter option. Okay. Yeah, uh, is integer. Good. Uh. Then, declare. Rock, soul, pop. You can put comma. Yeah. Okay? You can put comma. Rock. Declare rock, comma, soul, pop. pop. Comma. Jazz, okay. Jazz, and then classical. Okay. Five. Is there five? Okay. And after yeah, and then you do these. These variable would be for total purpose. You also declare. Uh, you have. You have. You also have to initialize. Okay, with zero. Total. Huh? For those zero. I mean, rock will be zero. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, declare student. Declare oh, student. Okay. Dash name. Colon string. Okay. Yeah. And then we'd start it. So then we'd start with so rock equals zero, soul equals zero, pop equals zero. Jazz equals zero, classical equals zero. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And then we do, and then we do four counter equal equals uh one two one thousand five hundred. Good. Yeah. Okay. And then we do read. Option or then twice. Then we do read option slash choice choice. And then and then we do okay yeah. And then then you have to put condition we, okay to count. Yeah. Then you have to do. So should I? Okay. Have then to... you have to do case. The case. Case. You can use case of, or you can put if if condition also, okay? Yeah. So case. Uh, let's see. Case of. Well, what would it be called then? Case of. Okay. Option or choice. You can use if condition also. Try to use if condition. If condition. So if. Of. Uh, option slash choice one choice equal to one then uh then 
Rob, uh, don't it's option choice. It's choice and equal to one. And then, uh, then do what would you, what would you do? Okay, if option choice equal to one, you can write then okay. you can rock. see if option equal to one, okay? Then yeah, then rock, then rock plus then rock equals rock plus one. Yeah, plus one, okay. Rock equal to rock plus yeah. one. One. Yeah. Uh then else not else. You can use if if condition for everyone. For everyone. Mm, then for everyone. if Option slash choice. Not slot. Don't, uh, don't write this one. Okay. Just do use one variable or either option, either if, one. That's right. If option if option equals to then input then no then soul equals soul plus one. Oh gee, how many other WD4 is? Huh? WD4. No. If option equals three, then pop equals pop plus one. If option equals four, okay, then then jazz equals jazz plus one if option equal five then classical equals classical plus one and then you'd also have to do and then if the option equals five then classical is equal classical plus one and then and what would you so then you'd well I'd just write print on top of this okay uh print okay. Print student name. Okay. Actually, yeah. Uh, you can write it again. If twice, if uh, you have written option, uh, if option, yeah. option, actually you have to take input also, the student name, you have not taken. If option equal to five, okay, then yeah. option, print uh, student name. So if option equal five, yeah. read student name, print yeah, student read. name. And before that, also you have to mention the option five. Actually, option five you have to mention two times. Uh, first one is for uh, totaling, and second one for name. So if option equal five, then read, read, read or print. Okay. Student so name, print student name. So all options I've done. Print student name. Then you do. Then you do a uh, next counter. Okay, good. Counter and then and then uh, and then below that and then after that you do this one. Rock. Yeah, this one you have to do. Percent output the percentage. Who choose each option. Yeah. So how would you do that? Percent. Basically, yeah. right. Uh, for each of uh, for each uh, uh, choices, you have to give basically like you can write percent one, or you can give any name like rock divided by. Oh, uh, oh, no. oh, I know. Yeah, no, no, no. I got it. I got it. I got it. Got it. I was just yeah. No, I just I was just thinking because but then I realized I realized. Then you do. Then after that, you do rock. Yeah, you can write rock. Per after you can write write then, rock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then you percent. do next counter. Yeah. Then you do next counter rock percent equal equals to rock rock over fifteen hundred. Yeah, into hundred. Okay. Percent for percent you have to write percent hundred. Over fifteen hundred times by a hundred. So for each you have to write. For each person you have to write. Yeah. After yeah, then you do you do so so percent equals so percent equals 
So over fifteen hundred times by a hundred, and then yeah, pop percent equals pop times by divided by fifteen hundred times by a hundred jazz percent equals jazz divided by fifteen hundred times by a hundred classical Good. percent oh wait I forgot something Be then you before next counter you'd write end if Ah, yeah, or you, you can write, uh, yes, next counter, before next counter, okay. Yeah, so before next counter, If yeah. you don't write, then classical... matter. okay, if you don't write, doesn't matter. Just you have to basically put the logic, okay? Yeah. But yeah. Then, you do, then you do classical divided by 1500 times by 100. Yeah. And that would be, yeah, then... Then I think you could do print rock, print soul, print pop, print jazz, press classical, print rock, print soul. No, print rock percent, print soul percent, print pop percent, print. Jazz percent print classical percent. There you go. And? Yeah. Okay. So ninety percent your is right. So I am showing you the output, okay? So you can make clear everything. Uh, declaring, I am writing here, declaration of variable, okay. First you declare, yeah. okay. How many variables? Declare. Uh, what counter and option. Okay, first one is counter. Second one is? Option. Um, option, option also number, okay. Option. Integer. And, okay, these two variables are key, okay. Integer. Then you declare the five input values as real. And declare basically, uh, what like rock? Yeah, rock, a pop, Gold, soul, jazz, classical, or pop, pop, or jazz, or classical. Okay, as basically real. Okay. Yeah. And then declare Got that. Student yes. name, string. Yeah. Student name as a string. Okay? Yeah. And you have to give total. Okay. Totally, I will show you next slide. Okay. So you can see. Yeah. Okay. From here, you can see uh, rest of the code. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then rocky, yeah, classical. Equal to zero, okay. So, equal to zero. And, uh, yeah. Pop equal to zero. These are initialization of total. Okay, jazz, classical. Yeah. And you have written this, this one you have done right, okay. Input choice. Yeah. You have to also give the uh, student name also, okay. This one I think you forget. You have to input also student name. Yeah, I, I put that in my if option. Okay, no. no. If choice or option, you can write anyone. If choice equal to one, okay, then yeah. equal to rock one. This this one you have done right in yeah. a right. This one, this one, this one. Okay, these are all same. Okay, at the end you have to write if choice equal to five. The so second time you have to write then output student name. Okay, they have written people name. Yeah, you can write. I've, I've, I put I put I put print student name. Yeah, but the thing is. I I did two in the slot in the second if option for five okay. equal five. Basically, okay. I did read student name and print student name. Okay, that is right. But this is the way how you can do it. Okay? And yeah. next count or next student, if they are using a loop or uh, variable name is student, you have written counter. Okay, 
So both are right. Yeah. After loop, you can uh, put the formula percent percent. So you can write with if they have used percent one, you can write write rock percent. Okay. Uh, you can give them yeah. a rock percent, soul percent, whatever. This is right. This is right. This one right. This one right. Or at the end, you have basically put you have to show output. So you can write all in one line. Am I right? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. I did print rock percent print so percent print. That is also right. That is also right. Okay. They have written basically yeah. they have used output. So you can write in uh, print command. Both are right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait a second. I'll show you next program. Oh, you can try this one. Okay, try it. Right, I'm going to use the code of my program only, which inputs the population land area for 500 countries, calculates the population density for every country, population divided by land area, outputs the largest and smallest population density, outputs the average population for all 500 countries. So you need population as one imp as one variable, land area as second variable, uh, calculates population density. So you need you need two input variables for large for population density, and you'd also need average population for all countries. Okay, you can so, do. I think I can. I think I can do. I can think I can do all of it apart from the output largest largest and smallest population density. Yeah, there is a little. Uh, there is a small logic I will tell you, but it's first you start. Okay, you can do that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So you first have to declare. Uh, first you have to declare. Um. Counter counter for loop, okay. Population population words and then in, in colon integer. Yeah. Declare again. Uh, uh, area area. Yeah. yeah. Declare and declare in land area. Uh, land area. Yeah, and average. As average, okay. Yeah, because for average population at the end. Yeah. And then you'd also have to do. Uh, yeah. It is also uh, input the population and okay no, input the population and land area. Both must be uh, integer, okay? Because you will put area in the integer form. Okay, it's okay. Real no, I, okay. Yeah. So I thought I thought um, land area would be real because land area can be decimal. Okay. Since, okay. Yeah. yeah. And population, population, you can't have a split human. So population is definitely good, good, good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. What about next yeah. one? That's why I put pop that's why I put population integer and land area in real. Okay. So declare declare land area average, uh, large, large, largest and smallest. So yeah, what, about largest. what about density? What about density? Do you know density? Uh, you don't. They have, given uh, yeah. line. they have given second line. You can read second line. Yeah, population divided by land area. Uh, yes, one. This one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So population density. So, what so, will data type? Uh, largest, smallest, and then carcass population density for every country. Hmm. So, yeah, I'd say, yeah. So, then that would go in real as well. Okay, good. And what about largest and smallest? I have put large sports in real. Yeah, real. Yeah. Good. So these. So then density. Uh, about which one? Which which variable will be? Uh, will have a zero or total? Which variable is showing total? Which variable? Yeah. Oh, which? I have. Okay. Ab oh yeah. Okay. Okay. There, yeah, yeah. there is an. Okay. There is one variation I want to tell. If they have written about output largest. Okay. 
and output smaller. Yeah. Whenever you see such kind of variable, or even you can have a shortest or longest. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or even you can have variable uh, faster or slowest. Yeah. Whenever you find such kind of variable, you have to declare like here largest. Largest must be yeah. uh, will have initial value of zero, and smallest must have initial value of more than zero. It can be hundred or thousand or ten thousand, whatever you can write. In the program, yeah. we will swap. Okay, we will swap the values. So must you must remember these. Okay, whenever you find such kind mm -hmm. of variable in your program, like largest, smallest, largest will be initialized by zero. And smallest will be initialized by more than uh, a value more than zero. Like it can be ten, it can be hundred, it can be ten thousand, okay. can be yeah. one lakh, ten so, lakh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So declare largest, smallest, and density, uh, and then as well as as well as total. Okay. Equals real. No equal. Yeah. No colon real. Yeah. Okay. What about next one? And then, yeah. So we have, so we have all the variables now. We have declare count of population as integer, declare land area average, largest, smallest, density, total, as real. Okay. So what about next one? The code, line of the, code. Now, the next time you do four count. No, 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 no. Next time you do. Uh, shortest e no smallest equals ten. Ten, ten or ten thousand. You can write ten thousand, or largest can be zero. After ten, yeah, and then largest equals zero. Good. And total equals zero. There is no 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 need to have total. Yeah, you can okay. have. You can have total. Okay. Output okay because yeah, you are asking average. Okay, average for average you need to have a total. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So total equals zero, and then so land area average density. Okay, yeah. And then density equals zero. Yeah, density equals zero, right? Hello. And density will be calculated, okay? Yes, I put density equals zero. You can have you can have density also. Okay, so density equals zero. Then you do next line would have full counter. Okay. Equals one to five hundred. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, then so we need to so read population. What? Read. Land area, Good. yeah, okay, and then you do, and then you do, uh, uh, population, yeah, okay, then you do, uh, yeah, then you do total. Equals population divided by or slash land area. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then so yeah. Hey. Okay. Can I help you? I think some variation in the program because you don't you have yeah. done you have not done before. Okay. Yeah. Okay, wait a second. Okay, first of all, you have to declare all variables. Okay, as you have tell me, uh, you will write declare. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which variable are uh, integer? One is counter. Yeah. Okay. And um, one is. What uh, population. Population. 
okay population these variable will be uh, integer okay yeah Okay. What about next next variable? Uh, next variable uh, will declare land area. Land area. La uh, largest. Largest. Smallest. Smallest. Density. Density. And total. Total. total? Yeah. Okay, total also. Oh, oh yeah, I know where I'm wrong. Okay, yeah, I went wrong. This will be density. Okay. Real, okay. Yeah. So all these are yeah. real. Real. Yeah, I have that. Okay. Now you have to uh, initialize the value. Like yeah, total so will be total zero. equal to zero. And smallest largest, equals zero. No, no. Largest will be equal to zero, as I told you. Yeah, smallest, smallest equals ten. 10 or 100 or 10,000, okay. I'm writing 10,000, okay. You can write any value greater than zero, okay. Yeah, so these things you have done, okay. Okay, now, uh, yeah, next up, uh, next slide. So, next time you do four count, okay. Wait a second, ah. these things you have done, okay. Small is 10,000, that is zero total. These, these we have done in the last slide, okay? Now you will write the loop for uh, use country, we have used count, okay? Counter or count, yeah. both are right. So yeah. what do you have in this line clear? Yeah. After loop, you will input or you can write read uh, command to take population and area, okay? These two values. You have done that. Okay, you have done that. Then you have to write the formula of density. We have it given on the uh, question. So density equal population divided by land area, okay? Yeah. Okay. Now here you have to compare. Now remember, this is this is the variation which I got. If density greater than largest, okay. Here you must density well, okay, okay. Population is thousand and area is hundred. Answer with ten. Answer with ten. Am I right? Okay, are you listening? Yes. Okay. Yeah. If, if population is 1000 and land area is 100, so you will get the answer of 10. Okay. Now, this value will yeah. be compared here. If density greater than largest, obviously this condition is right, 10 is greater than 0. Then largest, yeah. then density val value will be assigned to largest. Okay. In the yeah. first input. Okay. Now, this, this will check another condition if density less than smallest. Is this condition true? Density less than 10,000. Smallest. smallest. Then density will be assigned to smallest. It means in the first input, largest value and smallest value will have same, same value. Okay, I'm writing largest, smallest. So largest will have 10, smallest yeah. will have 10. Both value are same. Okay. Then total plus population. Total yeah. is 0 and population is 1,000. So total, uh, I should write here. So total value will be thousand. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next country. Okay. Next counter or country, it will move to another. Uh, it will move to me to the loop. It will uh, to input second value. Okay. Now I gave uh, basically ten thousand divided by hundred. Okay. Now it answer will be hundred. Okay. Answer will be hundred. So I will compare here if density 100. is the largest. So now density value is 100. This condition is true or false? 100 greater than 10. Because largest have 10 values. The value of 10. Yeah, it says now it's largest. Okay, now yeah. density will be assigned to largest. So largest value will be 100, okay? Now see here. If density less than smallest, is this true or false? 100 less than 10. Is this true or false? Density. Yeah, density is small. Density is bigger than smallest. It's not okay. going to work. This different. value will not change. This value remains same. Okay. This value will remain. Yeah. Okay. Because this value same. will not change because 100 is not less than 10. Okay. Okay. Now total will be updated. Yeah. Total will have total plus population. Population value came 10,000. So it will be 11,000. Okay. Yeah. 
so so on so basically 500 times it will take input from you even we can reduce the uh, in programming we'll, we can reduce the uh, loop, uh, loop loop value so after 500 times yeah. it will uh, exit from the loop so it will have an average equal to total divided by 500 so we assume that there are two inputs okay 11000 yeah. divided by 2 so answer will be 5500 yeah okay now it will print largest smallest and average largest value yeah. is 100 smallest value is 10 average is 5500 you got the logic okay so this is yeah, yeah i got it okay okay yeah okay so have you written have you taken the screenshot uh, uh, let me let me write really quickly. Okay, you can write. Okay. Also write the basically yeah. uh, uh, face table also. Okay. Huh? The value I've written on screen. Okay. How basically oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. how value are changed? Yeah. Okay, you have done? No. You are right now. Okay, done? Yeah. Okay. 
So a small effort and a small price for pay for the degree allowance. Each part of the time was a higher and made it a number of effort one six. My animals are see the code or swift share. You can see the code or otherwise, which one of the four different things that are in the hour that I the following input processing inputs or which identify our input flight application, calculate the number of flights per day for each of the three airlines, and put the percentage of total flights per day per each airline. By each airline, any validation checks must be included. So, we'll have We'll have so we'll start with declaring. We'll need to declare. We need to declare a uh, flight identification. So we need to declare flight identification as string. We need to declare. Hello. Yeah, I'm listening. Yes. Okay. So we need to declare flight identification as string. Okay. Yes. We to de declare counter. We to declare total. No, declare so declare counter as integer. Declare. So declare counter. Three in, uh, string variable, okay? Yeah. There are three variables for string. Three variables for string. Uh, like F A L K oh, oh. and K. And what about else? Any other variable? So, so declare count as integer. We need to declare, we need to, we need to calculate the number of flights per day for each of the three airlines. I put the percentage of the total flights per day by each airline. There are two other so, variables. Okay, do you know? There are two other variables also. So, I, I was going to do, what I was going to do is I was going to have, I was going to do fast air equals zero. I was going to do fast air, swift jet, and night air. Uh, a night air um, as real. I declare those. I'm gonna declare those three as real. Okay. So, what do you think? How many variables? Should I help you? So, so okay. Let me wait. So let's okay. see. So we need. So we need a three. There's three. Counter. Okay. Then identification. And then we okay. need, yeah. So what do you understand? Each flight is identified. I by think. I think. I think we we'll need five. I think we we'll need five. Uh, variable. Yeah. I th yeah. I think we need five variables. Okay, five or it can be six, including loop loop variables. Okay. Okay. These three variables. Okay. These. Okay. Three variables. Okay. Yeah, so those three variables as will be I would put them as real. No, I, I was gonna say I'll put them as real because uh we need to calculate the number of price per day for each of the three airlines. Mm -hmm. So I was gonna put it as real and then yeah. Okay. So how many variables are there? Should I write here? Yeah. Okay. Declare. Uh, basically, these uh, these three variables uh, declare F A and S J and K A. Okay. Yeah. How it will be integer or string? Okay. It should be integer. Okay. It should be integer. I tell you why. Okay. Because these three variables will have a total. Okay. These three yeah. variables will have a total, okay? And yeah. what about this one? Uh, each flight is identified by the airline code and three digit. The airline code basically, so, okay. This will yeah. have also so would, string, okay? We need, to, we need to declare identification as string. Okay, you can write here FA total, SJ total, KA total, okay? So 
So it will be uh, separate. Then declare as uh, a as a or what we say uh, k a k a will be string. Okay. Yeah. S P R A. Okay. String. What about this one? It says input flight identification. Okay. So uh, you, you can uh, give any name. Okay. So declare identification. Identification, or you can say letter code, number code. Okay. You can also number code. Okay. As integer. Would and then would you also have to get counter? Yeah, count also. Okay, you can also write it here also. Uh, count. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wait a second. Uh, I think. Basically, you can also declare these variable as a letter code. Okay. Yeah. Declare. Uh, what we call it letter code. Yeah. As a string, okay. Yeah. A letter code will like like F A or uh, S J, okay, or K A. These three variables will use in in we will input in letter code, okay. And for one yeah. statistic, we will write number code, okay. And yeah. F A total S S J total or K A total will be integer plus count also count for loop variable. Yeah. Okay. So rest I'm showing the next slide. Yeah. Okay. Rest can you do rest one? Yeah, I I wanna try the rest, yeah. Okay. Try. So declare number. Okay. So we start with uh F A total equals zero S J total equals zero K A total equals zero. Yeah. And then we do Yeah. Okay, then we do four counter equals one to four hundred. Yeah. Okay, need help or can you do that? Uh, no, I don't need help. I can do it. Okay, so four try. counter equals one. To, so four counter equals one to four hundred. Mm, okay. And then you do. So let's see. If no, no then you do read first input, then if okay. Then, then you do read letter code and number code. Good, good. Number code. Then you do if letter code is, if letter code uh, equals F A. Good. Then, then F A T equals F A T plus one. Yeah. Okay. If letter code, yeah, then if letter code equals F A, no, equals S J. Then SJT equals SJT plus one. And then if that code equals 
equals x. If that's the code equals ka, then kat equals kat plus 1. And then you would do... Okay. So if, then... Uh, then you do... Let's see what we need to do. Next. Yeah, then you do next counter. Counter. Yeah. And then you do so next counter. Okay. And then after next counter you do you K percent. Then you do K eighty percent. S J T percent and F A T percent. You have to write formula to calculate the percent. Yeah, so K A T percent equals K A T percent equals K A T divided by four Yeah. Completed. So if K K eighty percent equals K eighty divided by four, okay. F eighty percent percent equals F eighty divided by four, and then uh, I'm great. How are you? No wait, no, that's wrong. So output the percentage of total flights per day by each of the airline. Okay. So if total flight so so each okay. airline is equal K A F A and stuff. The total flights per day is Let me ask let me ask on that first and then we'll decide if you want to grow chicken or shower. Total flights per day, total flights per day. I'm just about to finish. So I'll, total flights per day by work. each airline. I'm about to finish the work I need to do and then I'll come to you. So be understood. What would it be? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, no, I was correct. K A T divided by four. Okay. And then F A T F A T divided by four. And then and then S J T percent equals S J T divided by four. Then you would do, let's see, then, and then, then you do print, print, uh, print, uh, FA equals F80%. Print SJ equals SJT percent. Print. KA equals KAT percent. Just completed. Then, yeah, that's it. That's everything. And 90% code you have written right. Uh, I think there is 10% mistake, so we can discuss, okay? Yeah. Okay. Declaration we have done in the last slide, okay? Here you can see okay. further points. Like uh, this one you have done. FA is equal to yeah. zero, SJ equal to zero, and we have done it. For X equal to one. Yeah. Yeah. This one is right? It's very an output. Have you written input, the input? Uh, input letter code? Uh, I've, I've, I've put, put the four. Yeah. Yeah, I've done input letter code and input number code. Good, good. Then you have written if letter code equal to FA. Okay. Then FA equal to yeah. Yeah, total. Okay. This one is right. This one is right. And this one is right. This thing you have missed, now. As print error because it says uh, any validation 
any validation tag must be included. Last time. Okay. Okay. Any validation tag must be included. Okay. Because yeah. user can uh, add, user can give input any wrong number. Okay. It shows, it should show a message. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so else print out then. Else print out. So each, this line you can add. Okay? In your code, this line you can add. Else. X, X, X or X. Yeah. Here you can write the person. FA. Yes, FA divided by 4. Yes. FA divided by 4. Yes. FA divided by 4. Yes. These, these three lines you have done? Yeah, done that. Okay, then print. F a yeah. person, S T person, and K person. So ninety percent code is your right, okay? Am I right? Yeah. So you can take screenshot. Yeah. Of that, okay. So yeah. So all I all I need to yeah. So all I need to do is uh have else print error. Yeah. Print That's error. what I missed. Yes. Because other yeah, these code, good. user input yeah. other than these code, so it shows it should show a message. Okay. Here you can write a message. You have you have input wrong yeah. number. Anything you can write in the double quotation. This is called okay. In double quotation you can write anything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. Enough for today. Okay. I'm taking a picture of it. Hmm? Yeah, enough for today. Thank you. I will send you assignment or you can see uh, from here. Can you take screenshot? Yeah, yeah. Can, take, can you can, take can you take screenshot? Yeah, I can take picture. I right, I'm okay. Wait a second. Okay, wait, wait a second. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can Sorry. you take picture for assignment? No. One sec. Done. There you go. Yeah, take a picture. Okay, I will send you more assignment. You can send me. Uh, uh, tomorrow, okay. Yeah. Okay. Just tell, just give it, just give you uh, the assignments to my dad. My dad will do it. Yes. To me. I will send you. I will send. You, okay. Yeah. Okay. Allah Hafiz. Zakallah. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.